Hi, this is Iris Carson, and today I'm going to show you a really cool feature in Azure websites, which I didn't know about. It's in beta. It's completely new, or I don't know how new, but it's fairly new. And somebody told me about this at the Warm Crocodile Conference, and I got all excited and had to have a look at it. I'm talking about the staging feature. So staging allows you to push a website or a web application to kind of a staging area, and you define yourself where you want that to actually be hosted. The beauty of it is staging allows you to properly test an application before moving it into production and with the new feature in Azure websites it's just a matter of clicking a button swap uh, before you go ahead and swap the two sites. It does sound like you can very easily make a mistake there so there are other ways you can go about it as well of course but uh, in this very short demonstration I'm going to show you how to get up and running with staging and production on Azure website. Okay, here we are. So as you can see, I've logged into my Windows Azure account here, and I have just my own site up and running. So the first thing we're going to do is to click on New, and then under Compute, we're going to select Website and Quick Create. We're going to create our production website. So I'm just going to give it a name, and I have already tested and made sure that this name was available, Production ABC. And you can select a region if that's important for you. For this demonstration, it certainly isn't. So I'm going to go ahead and create a website and just give it a couple of seconds. should be fairly fast to create one. Once we have created this one, we're going to go ahead and create the staging site. The way we're going to go about doing that is click on the actual site and then go to the dashboard. And in the dashboard, we can actually enable stage uh, we can actually enable stage publishing i'm going to zoom in here i'm not sure how much it helps enable stage publishing i'm going to select on it select it and as soon as i've done that it's going to tell us that we have to be in standard modes to enable stage publishing so there are three different modes that you can have a website in and we are not in the standard mode i do believe that the standard mode has a cost to it um, i'm not quite sure because i do have an account here so you have the free shared and then standard so i'll click on standard and then i'll just go ahead and save the settings it's going to ask whether we want to do it or not i'm going to click yes Hopefully I'll still have money left in my bank account tomorrow. I don't know how much they'll take for this. As soon as we're done, we're going to go back to the dashboard and we'll try to click on Enable Staged Publishing again. And this time we're not going to have a problem to go, going through with that. So as you can see here, it's starting to wire up our staging site. And as you can see also, the, the default naming convention here is, and it didn't help when I zoomed in, um, is that the staging site has in parentheses added to it in the name staging. So we have these two sites. Now if I was to um, go and take a look at our site, this is the original, this is the production ABC. And however, they, they do look the same right now. And we're in the dashboard here of the staging site. So this is how the production ABC and staging website look right now. This is the default uh, view you get when you haven't uploaded any application yet. So we're going to go ahead and download our publish profile. You'll get this from the dashboard of the production ABC staging application. This is because we want to publish to staging first and then, then swap. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and rename this to uh, just web. I can't think of any good names. And then I've gone ahead and actually created uh, an application in Visual Studio. I'm using Express, as you maybe saw. I don't use Express when I'm working. I, I use Ultimate or Premium. But I use this for demonstration purposes because if you want to try this and you don't have Visual Studio, this is absolutely free. So it makes it easier for people to follow my uh, tutorials, demonstrations. Anyways, enough talk. So I'm just going to make sure that actually this application works. I'm going to go ahead and run it. Um, give it a couple of seconds again. Should be working. Tested it a little bit earlier. Yay, it works. Awesome, awesome. So I'm going to stop it and I'm going to go ahead and publish now to the staging site. The way we're going to do this is by right clicking on the project, uh, selecting publish. Then on uh, import a publish profile, I'll select import. I prefer to use the file. So here I'm going to navigate to the file I actually downloaded. There we go. And I'll click OK and it'll find all the information that we need. And ta-da, we have it there. And then I just basically just click publish.
and we're good to go. Um, let's just double check now that this actually works. So now we're deploying a web application to the staging area and we don't have anything in production. It's just a kind of empty static markup site that just says that something will come here soon. So as you can see, and please look at the URL at the top so you don't confuse the two sites. It says here production ABC staging. So this is our staging side. So I'm now going to um, snap this to the side so we can have these two together. There we go. And I'll do the same with this one. And this one I'm going to pull over here so I can show you something later on or actually in just a few seconds. You can tell that I was planning this really hard, can't you? <laughs> Anyways, we have the two sites next to each other. On the left-hand side, we have the staging one. On the right-hand side, we have the production one. And swapping the two is as simple as... Oh, shit. Pardon. Is as simple as actually clicking swap. And I'll do the zoom it thing again and get you dizzy. It says here swap. So that's where you select it. And I'm in the dashboard. So as soon as I click swap, it's going to ask me whether or not we really want to go ahead and do this. This is what I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And we can see what's happening. So it's swapping production ABC with production ABC staging. So it's swapping the two. So it only goes back and forward. So as soon as it's done that, these are the two sites. If I now refresh the production site, we can see that we have actually gone from staging to production. And if I refresh the uh, staging site, uh, we've, we've moved the production site or the, the empty site, which was on production, to staging. Now, there's actually a benefit to this. This is quite nice because if you realize that you kind of messed up and you want to swap back, you can swap back just as easily. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and do that. Sure you want to swap website deployments? Yes. I'm just waiting for me to accidentally swap out my blog or something like that. I probably shouldn't demonstrate this on my actual account. Hmm. Anyways, so I've done that now. And if I now refresh, ah, we're going back to how it was before. And that's how easy it is. Of course, uh, in terms of actually deploying to Azure websites, you have several options to choose between. I'll make sure I'll make videos for those options as well. And I have another video coming up on how you deploy from your local Git repository, which should be a really fun one. So stick around, leave some comments, uh, be nice and behave. And happy to get some feedback. If you know some cool tips and tricks, please share. Hope you enjoyed this and take care. Bye.